Okay, this is Gary Ober and this is How to Be a Man series. Um, today I'm going to be doing a disc brake conversion. And uh, uh, this is what I got so far. I got that, uh, this is the steering arm. And uh, you need a special tool to take that piece off and it's this fork right here. I could uh, rent it for free over at uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And then you got these ball joints right here that I need to take off. And this is the spindle. And uh, I cut the brake line here. And I need to take out that master cylinder back there. Right there. So it's got three uh, lines coming out of it. It's got two lines on top. That is the uh, where the reservoir is. And then it's got two, a couple of uh, cables to let you know if your brakes are working or not. So, this is a VW Beetle, and uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There's the wheel, and uh, I got this thing on a jack before I uh, get started. I need to take this wheel off and I'm going to use a uh, these have a 19 millimeter thing I'm going to just break them off with this breaker bar which makes the process a lot easier and since the other tire is up it's a little bit harder because I got to hold it a little bit so the wheel doesn't spin, but this this is an invaluable tool. This breaker bar right here. Pass it. Practice. And now that I got the head. wheel off, I'm gonna jack it up a little bit and put it on a stand. Head. You can't just practice with one second. Actually, practice more. Okay, that took a lot longer than I had anticipated. Anyways, that took me seven minutes to do that. The, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, jack stands. I have three different, two different jack stands, and they were not the same size, so definitely want to use them in pairs. Because otherwise, one of them was standing up. On its head, and it just was not good.
Okay. Now I just uh, hold my lug nuts. And, all right. Hmm. I just slide this tire underneath. For a little extra added security in case things go haywire and this thing falls. I got them blocked. The wheel's blocked and I got the mercy brake on. So it shouldn't go anywhere, but you just never know. And uh, here we go. This is the drum brake and it's moving pretty freely. So that's good. Um, obviously, so I'm going to take off this dust cap, and last time I used a uh, hammer. Oh, somebody wanted to know where to uh, put your jacks on in the stands. So, there's where the, you jack it up in the middle. And you have a stand right there on that beam. And you got a stand over there. And I just keep this jack here. It's not holding any weight, but I keep it there just for... Another little added safety. You can't ever be too careful. So, let's see if we can get this dust cap off. Last time, like I said, I used the uh, uh, hammer. And... Probably use the hammer again. So after several thousand attempts, all right, so the dust cap is off, here's the dust cap, nice and beautiful, and this has a little Allen wrench right there. You gotta take off, and if you look, there's a little washer in there right before you get to the uh, outer ball bearing. I didn't know if that was on first or not, so. Since this car is all metric for the most part, I think. Uh, let's see here, what number is this? This is a. Uh, Oh, by the way, this very conversion kit I got is uh, from, uh, um, where did I get this from? Um, J.C. Whitney. And it cost me about $350, which included tax in Ohio. 
And I had to buy all new bushings, and that set me back another. It was like thirty bucks a, thirty-five bucks a bushing. So you got four, four of them, and then I bought another um, tie rod at the end. It's all busted up, typically, and you know I don't, I only want to do this one time. I don't want to mess with this. This is just this is not what I call fun. I think driving is fun. But, you know, this is all about doing it yourself. You know, I mean, if I wasn't doing this, I'd be inside playing video games or, you know, checking Facebook. And, you know, that's not really worth any of my time or your time. So I got that piece off and, uh... Turn this thing on. Turn it around. And obviously, if I'm doing something wrong, which you know is probably the case, feel free to uh, message me and let me know how I'm screwing things up, or if you know an easier way. I'm also changing out the master cylinder. <sighs> I'm gonna put this piece back in there so I can save it for later and I don't lose it. Let me go get some paper towels. What? Oh, it's my keys? Yeah. I don't know, probably inside. Can you go give me a Gatorade? There's no more. What do you mean there's no more? This is the last one. Shut up. It, mommy threw it away. What? We drank all of it. Uh, <sighs> what? Alright, so hopefully this thing will just come off. Uh, yeah, here we go.